Hey guys! Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to my channel. Alright, so I teamed up with a bunch of wonderful ladies here on YouTube. We're doing a collaboration and all bringing you a different holiday appetizer. Today I'm going to be preparing and baking baked brie for you guys. It's a family favorite of ours and of my extended family. They ask for it every holiday. So I have already set my oven to 350 and I have all my ingredients out on the counter over here which obviously you can't see. Um, I will show you them in a minute. Um, the girls that I'm collabing with, I will list them here for you guys to see. Make sure you guys when you're done with my channel, go follow them, go subscribe to them, like their videos, let them know that I sent you. There's some great content on their channels and I would love for you guys to check them out. If you're new coming over from one of their channels, hi, my name is Brittany. I am a full-time outside of the home working mom uh, to two little boys, Liam who is four and Caleb who is a year and a half. And I do a lot of like lifestyle, mommy content, vlogs, starting to do vlogs, uh, grocery hauls, um, I plan to do some like what's in my diaper bag, what's in my work bag videos, and what else have I done? Um, a ton of cleaning videos, so if you need some cleaning motivation, go um, make sure you go check those out. But yeah, I am brand new to YouTube as well, and I look forward to sharing my channel with you guys. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so I have all my ingredients out. Um, I tend to do it in a dish like this. You can do a baking sheet with parchment paper. Uh, I just always find it's easier to use this dish and it's easier to get out in the end. So just going to spray it down real quick. And this is super fast and super simple. Um, so we're going to take our crescent roll. Uh, looks like we got the original this time. Sometimes we do the butter flaky crust. I'm just going to open this. Does anybody else hate opening these? They scare me every time. And I can never get them open. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder if I have to get a knife. If anybody has an easier way to open these, there you go. Let me know because... They do not work for me. Now try to do this like straight out of the fridge because otherwise it's hard to work with when it starts becoming room temp. So I'm just going to roll it out. I'm not going to separate it. And I'm just going to line it in my dish. And just kind of like pinch it shut where it separates just so that it's kind of together all right guys so it kind of looks like this so a little bit more okay and next you're going to take your brie cheese um, this is the only one my husband could find at the store today, so that's what we went with. Um, just soft, um, brie cheese. And then you leave it in the casing. So I'm just going to stick that in here. So, just looks like that. And then I am going to do, this is red ram, red, red ram, red raspberry jam. Um, just need seedless raspberry preserves, any kind will do, um, really any kind of jelly, and then I just put it on top. I love the jams, so I like to do, I tend to do extra, I just love it so much, I think it's so good. Okay, so, I did not measure that out as you guys could see. It's really kind of personal preference, you really cannot go wrong can't mess it up. I'm just going to rinse this off. Okay. 
Then I'm going to take uh, Craisins. These happen to be the cherry infused. Uh, it's just what I had gotten that week for salad. So we're just going to go with it. I didn't want to buy new especially just for this because you don't need that many. Just going to sprinkle it on top. Okay, here we go. So not too many as you guys can see. This is what it looks like now. Oh, it's sliding all over the place. And then just the same with some sliced almonds. This is not opening for me. Uh, hold on one second. Apparently need some scissors. It's kind of hard to open. Okay, let's see here. So just sliced almonds, like I said, and just doing a little bit. I don't like an overabundance of almonds, so just a little bit looks like this and then we're just gonna fold it closed so pinch it make sure it pinches it shut it's gonna leak out I this is the first time I'm trying it with a crescent roll I actually usually do puff pastry which you guys can do but I just love the taste of um, crescent rolls and because it's Thanksgiving and crescent rolls are so popular for Thanksgiving I just thought that we would try this so we are trying this together you kind of just form it into a ball. <clears throat> so it looks like that. Okay, it's in here. And then we're just gonna do egg wash on top, just a little bit. I already separated out my egg. I'm just gonna pour this a little bit on top. Well, that was way too much. Okay, let me dump this out. I, I couldn't find my brush, I would show you guys with my brush. Let's see if the spoon works. Yeah, okay. So just kind of drizzling it on top a little bit. All right. That's it, you guys. This is going to go in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, just to get out of the oven, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I'm not going to cut it open and show you guys because maybe I'll try to take a picture at my aunt's house, but we have to travel to our house, which is about 15 minutes away. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. If you haven't subscribed already yet, please consider doing so. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. And when you're finished checking out my video, don't forget to check out the other girls in this collab. See you next time. Memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything